well, there was this Muslim migrant over in, of course, France. I mean, France is becoming, you know, no longer the Republic of France. It's becoming essentially the Islamic theocracy of France when you get down to it. But this, uh, because, of course, secular liberal humanism has totally destroyed Western Europe. Let's just get the reality out there. But this, uh, there was this Muslim migrant over in, you know, of course, France, who is basically a full-time thief, just, you know, doing what his uh, Ishmaelite false prophet Muhammad said, you know, to steal from the infidels, steal from the non-Muslims. But he's a full-time thief and only gets three years in prison. Yeah. This is on uh, Jihad Watch. It says, Muslim migrant known as most active thief in Paris gets just three years in prison. The French authorities don't want to appear too harsh and don't want anything to get in the way of their celebrations of diversity. And there's an Algerian migrant known for uh, known as the most active thief in Paris, sentenced to three years in prison. I mean, they're bringing pretty light on, but again, just this this Mohammedan Ishmaelite is just simply doing what is to be expected of the spiritual de this, the uh, spiritual descendants of Ishmael. In Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12, how is Ishmael described? Wild man. But it says here in the article, a 43-year-old Algerian migrant notorious for his many thefts throughout Paris was tried and sentenced to three years in prison on Tuesday by the Paris Criminal Court. Prosecutors who described the 43-year-old Nebiel uh, B as the most active thief in Paris was arrested on November 16th by officers of the anti-crime unit at, the, at a metro station in the center of Paris. The suspect was already wanted for a string of thefts at the time of his arrest. Investigators be began to open a specific pr procedure to group his various cases together before presenting him before the court. Prosecutors convicted him of that of, of that of at least a dozen sorry at least a dozen high profile thefts, including a case involving uh, I think that's euros seventy thousand euros stolen from a hotel in the fourteenth uh, arrondissement on September tenth. Hope I'm saying that right, but. Yeah, so this guy has a long record of just doing what his false prophet uh, Muhammad did, uh, said to do, essentially to steal from your enemies, steal from the non-Muslims. But it says, in uh, continuing on, in what may have been one of his most audacious crimes, uh, Nebiel B. was also convicted of having stolen a handbag from Frederic Kamel, uh, I can't say some of these names, the police chief of the Bonches du... Ron, again, probably not saying that right. He then used her bank card in a contactless mode to make a number of purchases. He is a thief who knows the tricks of a judicial of the judicial system and won't hesitate to do anything that to end up in the hospital uh, and avoid being questioned by the police for too long. A source from the Paris police headquarters told French News, the French news outlet, Acta 17 in November of last year. When Algeria, when the Algerian's house was raided by police, they found a number of stolen objects, including a saxophone worth 7,000 euros, a dozen hand, a dozen handbags, and an 8,600 euro uh, in cash. Again, I'm pretty sure that's euros. I'm not up, totally up to date on that. But yeah, you know, again, this is to be expected from these uh, wild man, Ishmaelite, Mohammedan, you know, devil worshippers, basically. You know, plain and simple. This is not surprising to me one bit. But continuing on the article, it says he is also facing another trial in March of this year for stealing a computer from a soldier during a, during a NATO meeting at the Circle National Day Armis, I think as I say it, on July 15th. The stolen computer sparked diplomatic tensions that led to accusations of espionage. Uh, France was also lambasted by other allied countries for failing to ensure the security at the meeting, especially in light of the war in Ukraine. Nibiel Nebiel B, who was arrested a few days after the crime, is accused of, of slipping past a number of soldiers and entering a conference room to steal the computer. The Algerian is known to the police under a wild range of aliases, including David B, who Nabil B claimed was an Israeli citizen. He uh, has already uh, been arrested many times for his pa for in the past for his thefts and sentenced to prison, but the Algerian uh, uh, serial repeat offender has shown no signs he is slowing down. Well, again, you know, He's just doing what his false, you know, Ishmaelite barbaric, a pedophile, false prophet Muhammad would have told him to do, in accordance with his blasphemous, idolatrous, unholy book known as the Quran. That's the blunt reality of it all, you know. And again, this showing how just how secular liberalism has totally destroyed uh, these Western European nations, you know, because we got to be tolerant and tolerate these uh, barbaric Ishmaelite Muhammadans, you know. But of course, you know, this is going to keep happening. And while the French people kind of have to put up with all this stuff, the government just going to, you know, whatever. I mean. Hey, diversity. Diversity is our strength. Well, it may be a strength for the Antichrist, but definitely not a strength for the average civilian who's got to put up with these barbaric Ishmaelite Mohammedans. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, don't be deceived by Islam and don't be deceived by the, the uh, 
false religion, essentially, of secular liberal humanism. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.